Hi, this is G Stryker with the SteelerNation.com podcast. Here we have As the Game Turns. You've got Luton and the Jacksonville Jaguars on the 10 yard line here, second and nine. Game's still within reach. They're looking to tie it up here before the end of the half after a touchdown that just went the other way to Chase Claypool. Jacksonville is still doing a good job of moving the football at this point of the game. Uh, looks like they're lined up here in a 12 personnel set with one running back, two tight ends, so that leaves two other receivers on the field. Uh, as we go into motion here, we will see the Steelers' defense working in tandem to make a play, which is just excellent. Uh, as they teach you, if you're a defensive lineman, you can't get there, get that hand up. And that's what Tyson Alualu did right there. Got that big maul up, and Minka Fitzpatrick was able to be opportunistic there reading the play as soon as it went up in the air to get up and underneath of it. And the Steelers were doing an excellent job as a group that entire game of getting their hands up because Luton was getting those passes out very, very quickly. But this was about the closest that Jacksonville Jaguars would get to the end zone the rest of the day. They didn't, they weren't really able to move the ball efficiently in the second half and followed this interception with another interception in the half, and they were lucky the Steelers didn't get more points on the board, but this is definitely where the game turned, thanks to a tandem play by Tyson Alualu and Minka Fitzpatrick being the man on the spot here, returning the ball out to the 40-yard line, and gave Ben Roethlisberger another shot into the end zone before the end of the half.